Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for January 28th. Today is the Sunday of the fourth week of ordinary time. Let's have our moment of silence to prepare us for a prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, for His loving kindness will never fail. Alleluia. Give thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord, for He is good, good for His love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say, His love endures forever. Let the sons of Aaron say, His love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. I called, I called to the Lord in my distress. He answered and freed me. The Lord is at my side. I do not fear. What can man do against me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The nations all encompass me. In the Lord's name I crush them. They compass me, compass me about. In the Lord's name I crush them. They compass me about like bees. They blaze like a fire among thorns. In the Lord's name I crush them. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord came to help me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He is my Savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished, I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate, where the just may enter. I will thank you, for you have answered, and you are my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord, we rejoice and are glad. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. Go forward in procession with the branches, even to the altar. You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. 
Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord for his loving kindness will never fail. Hallelujah. Alleluia, bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord, Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory. Praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious forever. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Alleluia. Let everything that breathes give praise to the Lord. Alleluia. Praise, praise God in His holy place. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His powerful deeds. Praise His surpassing greatness. Oh, praise Him with sound of trumpet. Praise Him with the lute and harp. Praise Him with timbrel and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipes. O oh, praise Him with resounding cymbals, praise Him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let everything that breathes give praise to the Lord. Alleluia. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Remember that Jesus Christ, a descendant of David, was raised from the dead. You can depend on this. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we hold out to the end, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he will still remain faithful, for he cannot deny himself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If we die with him, we will also live with him. What does dying with Jesus mean? Look at the cross. Do you see any power in the cross? Do you see any wealth in the cross? Do you see any joy in the cross? If you look at the cross, it's nothing. It's pain. But there's one thing in the cross that delivers us from all. And that is love. Brothers and sisters, 
You and I are being called to die with Jesus, to die to ourselves. What does that mean? You hear that all the time. You have to die to yourself. What does that mean? We're not being asked to carry big crosses, heavy crosses. We're not even being asked to be nailed to a cross. Jesus already took that for us. When we are being asked to die to ourselves, it's little things that we give up. For example, a friend said something that was kind of insulting, kind of painful. What do you do? Inside of you, under your breath, you say a prayer for your friend who insulted you. You ask for a blessing for this friend, and right away, you forgive this friend and say, Lord, it is painful, it hurts me, but do not take it on her. I forgive her and forgive us both for our sinfulness. It's easier said than done. No, try it because the minute you say that, it gives you such joy and triumph inside. It will transform your friend as well as it transform you. Is there pain? Of course there is. But it's going to be worth the pain. Little by little, you do that. More and more every day. For example, you have a spouse and your wife, you came home tired from work, your wife didn't have any meal prepared for you. Are you going to be angry? No. Sit down next to your wife and say, Hey, honey, I know you're tired. I'm tired too. How about if we just call and order some food? How about McDonald's? Just for kicks, let's have McDonald's tonight. You know, find the joy of the relationship. Forgive your wife. That is how you die to yourself, little by little. Do not give in to anger. Do not give in to bitterness. Because our Lord is very faithful to us. He already carried the heaviest cross. He was nailed to the cross. We do not need to be nailed to the cross. We just need to carry our little crosses of bearing with one another, forgiving one another, being one with another, loving more. Because if we die to ourselves, we are dying with him. When we die with him, we will reign with Jesus and death. We give thanks to you, O God, as we call upon your name. We give, we give thanks, thanks to you, O God, as we, as we call, call upon your name. We cry aloud how marvelous you are, as, as we, we call, call upon your, your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We, we give thanks, thanks to you, O God, as, as we call upon your name. Everyone heard with amazement what Jesus taught, for he spoke with such authority. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Everyone heard with amazement what Jesus taught, for he spoke with such authority. Open your hearts to praise the God of power and goodness, for he loves us and knows our needs. We praise you, Lord, and trust in you. We bless you, Almighty God, King of the Universe, because you called us while we were yet sinners. To acknowledge your truth and to serve your majesty. O God, you open the gates of mercy for us. Let us never, never turn aside from the path of life. As we celebrate the resurrection of your beloved Son, help us to spend this day in the spirit of joy. Give to your faithful, O Lord, a prayerful spirit of gratitude, that we may thank you for all your gifts. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our loving God and Father. Heavenly Father, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Father, that you hear and grant each and every prayer as we pray. We, we praise, praise you, Lord, Lord and trust in you. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, help us to love you with all our hearts and to love all men as you love them. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.